Welcome back, guys. Today I'm going to show you another one of my classic episodes from last year, which in web time seems like a really long time, doesn't it? Well, I created this when I was in a very strange state of mind. I babbled a lot about socks and I made really freaky faces, but I was broke as hell, so that was my state of mind. All right? Give me a break. But the dish is really good, and it's the perfect poor man's recipe. My mother has a saying, la panza no tiene la culpa, which means it's not the stomach's fault. It so happens she shared these words of wisdom with her friends when they kept insisting that she not cook for her husband whenever he was being a jerk. I think it's brilliant, and thumbs up to my mama for being so wise. Today's recipe is inspired by this philosophy. It's not your stomach's fault that we're in this recession, so why should it suffer? That's why we're making Pomo Man's tostadas. It's layers upon layers of tummy loving flavors, all piled on top of each other. Mmm! -hmm. And best of all, it's easy to prepare and costs less than a package of socks. Easy, yummy, and delicious equals pole man's tostadas. Tostada shells are found in the ethnic aisle of the market, and these are the fresh toppings. We're going to make a fresh guacamole, which goes fantastic with tostadas. That will have fresh avocado, serrano chili, which has a bold, delicious flavor, chopped tomatoes, lime juice, and salt. Then you'll top them off with shredded lettuce, cheese like queso fresco, and already prepared meats like carnitas or roasted chicken. As a shortcut, we're going to refry pinto beans from a can. Add some oil to a pan and test the oil to make sure it's hot by this manner. Be careful because the oil does splatter. Then you're going to mash the beans with a potato masher. You want to be careful about not overcooking the beans because then they become too dry. I'm going to show you a really quick and easy recipe for guacamole. It's just avocados, tomatoes, the serrano chili, the lime juice, and salt. And then you're going to mix this up and create this texture with a fork. Now it's time to build our tostadas using all these fresh, delicious ingredients. Remember, you don't need a fork to eat tostadas. Just lots of napkins and a big appetite. Pole Man's Tostadas goes great with a cold beer.